In May 2015, Hillary Clinton kicked off her presidential bid as candidate Clinton and began the process of reintroducing herself to the American voters. She recently made a stop in Columbia, South Carolina to speak with a group of minority women business owners to discuss the unique challenges they face and the issues that they care about most. Tara Mitchell, creator of the Jesus Button, was one of the minority business women that had an opportunity to speak with Clinton. Not long after her conversation with the presidential hopeful, Tara sat down with us to discuss the challenges she faces as a minority businesswoman and the impact, if any, that Clinton's visit may have had on deciding who she votes for in 2016. I'm going to start by, Tara, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Tara Mitchell, and I'm the owner of Beauty Fashion's Christian Development Group. I'm a 20-plus year veteran of the military services. I'm a disabled veteran. Okay, what service, what branch did you serve in? Um, originally, I started out in the Navy, and then mm -hmm. I transferred over to all services, rather, to the United States Air Force. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Tara, tell us a little bit about uh, the product that you produce. You have a very interesting product. Okay, well, the name of my product is the Jesus Button, as you can see here. Um, the Jesus Button comes preloaded with 14 inspirational messages. It has a USB port. It comes with 128 megabytes of memory, three AAA batteries, and a USB cord. The Jesus button can be used as an empowerment tool, encouragement tool, and inspiration. Okay, okay. Where did you come up with that idea? <laughs> um, God used to give me a series of different um, invention ideas, and after years of seeing things that he had given me to do, I didn't mm -hmm. act upon them. Someone else would do it. Um, I vowed, so I said, God, if you ever give me anything else, I'm going to run with it. So when he kept giving me the concept of, you know, the Jesus button, um, you know, at first I kind of would joke to myself, laugh, different mm -hmm. things would happen. And I'd be like, man, they're going to make me push my Jesus button, you know, <laughs> not really catching at that time. But the point of when I actually said it aloud, literally it took me back to Genesis in the beginning, you know, God spoke it in it came to pass. So basically, when I ended up making that statement out of my mouth, you know, this is what happened. But it was really birthed from just a series of just different things that had happened in my life where I always, you know, went back to the Bible on different things. And to me, this was just an easy way to bring inspiration at the push of a button for people. Okay, okay. That's a great idea. Great, uh, fabulous product. Um, you... Um had the opportunity uh, this afternoon to uh, uh, talk with uh, presidential hopeful uh, Hillary Clinton. Uh, tell me what that was like. Man, that was a really awesome experience. Um, I found her to be a very humble, um, genuine person. She was definitely interested in what I was saying. Um, she gave a very attentive ear to what I was saying, and you know, she asked me questions about the Jesus button. I was able to, you know, share a lot of my life story with her as well. Okay. Um, now, one of the things that uh, Clinton is campaigning on is helping uh, minority uh, women entrepreneurs, minority small business owners. Um, what, what are some of the challenges that you've faced personally as a minority woman business owner? Um, well, I can actually share a story of when I was still actually working okay. um, in the marketplace. Uh -huh. um, I used to work for Home Depot. Uh -huh. And during that time, there was a gentleman that both of us had applied for this position at the same time. We both were hired um, as asset protection. Mm -hmm. And he and I had very similar backgrounds, except I had more education than he did. Mm -hmm. And they actually hired him, paying him more than myself. Wow. Um, and so to me, I was just like, wow, you know, what could be the only different factor here is that he's male and I'm female. You know? Wow. Okay. Um, as, as now that you own your own business, um, how, how is that coming? Are, are there any specific challenges that you're facing and that you're um, trying to work through or overcome? Um, yes, there's definitely challenges in owning your own <laughs> business. Um, you know, one of the main challenges that I think that would hit probably any entrepreneur is funding. Uh -huh. You know, having that funding or making those right connections, um, you know, to get the proper funding and to do what you need to do. Okay. Um, okay. Um, where where are you located in Columbia? Um, um, currently, um, the company is housed at the USC Technology Incubator. Okay, okay. 
Um, now, um, don't want to put you on the spot. Now, um, Clinton is running for president. So, um, are you still on the fence, or where are you in, uh, in deciding whom that you whom you're going to give your vote to? Um, well, definitely, I'm still on the fence. I mean, I have to hear more of what her views or any person that's running, what you know, what their views are, what, what you know, what are their goals, what are they trying to achieve, how are they going to better, you know, business owners, um, just the very different things that we have that, as you see, that keeps happening in the news. I mean, you know, seeing exactly what their views are and what they're going to do, that's what's going to make a, you know, be a determining factor for me. Okay. Well, Tara, thank you for taking the time to sit down with us. Alrighty, welcome. Thanks for taking the time to talk with me. No problem.